there is Tanika. And thank you once again for joining me on yet another Conscious Rant. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I do want to talk a little bit. I'm driving. Uh, I never got the, the, the dash mount for my phone or for my camera. So I'm going to keep on saying it's coming up because it is. Maybe I should say I got it. I got it, I just don't have it yet. <laughs> well, it's Tanika, and thank you for coming back to my channel. <laughs> I just want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you. The gentlemen have voiced their idea that I post uh, what appears to be negativity, and it and I, I am not a negative person by any means. <laughs> I don't post negativity and I'm not sharing the negative aspects. There is a little bit of ache there. Uh, this is just me reflecting on myself, me from a higher perspective, looking back when I was struggling and um, that fierceness and that call for justice and just me wanting to, we wanted this situation to not be lopsided or upside down. Uh, it's the anger that you would fear feel if you if you saw a bully hit a hit someone in the eye You know what? I mean someone that is unarmed. They ain't even got the dukes up and They're walking around with black eyes and holes in their clothes because it's, it's, it's not even because of them It's be well, it's because of people and their envy and their deceit and their shade of that person and so I just I I show up like that for myself because for so many years I have shown up like that for other people and it's like it's so important to me you know it's so important to me to look out for those people who may feel like their voices have been muffled or like they have no voice you can just get so beaten down it can happen in relationships with your significant other it can happen in your family with your parents your siblings other family members you know so-called friends it, like when you learn that somebody that you called a friend was not a friend to you and so um and if, and if you haven't experienced it you know that's that's one of the main things that i say and that whenever i'm sharing is that this is for whoever resonates so if you don't if it doesn't resonate with you then this then what i'm saying you know what i'm sharing then that that just means that it's not for you it's not for you. This is not one of the channels or one of the messages that's actually for you because I'm I'm sharing. Yes, it does. It does lighten. It lightens my heart. It actually fills my heart up. Actually, um, I feel super good and good about it. Um, but if I can help someone who might be in a dark place when you are by yourself, because you have you have you have the people who are out here who are who are like me you can honestly say that you haven't done anything but you have example after example after example of you know being on the the bottom or the the butt of someone's malicious intent someone else's jealousy envy their control and oh gosh don't let somebody come into any degree of power or authority i've seen so many people completely abuse that and and I'm gonna say that the ones that hurt the worst, it was not even from you know from the male species species. It's some people who look just like me. Other women, women who we put ourselves, we put ourselves out there for le man, right? We put ourselves out there to be his support and be his helper, be his team. And these some of some of these men, men will bring people in your house. <laughs> Hold on, we'll date you and like flash your kids, like let your kid let your kids see their private parts out. Break things in your house, break things in your car and their car and say that you did it or that your kids did it. Point out a smirk that they claim, you know, your I, I saw how your mom was looking at you. Is everything okay? Just lying and staring stuff up. Like I have seen it and I was looking um at at I was looking for 
a reflection of myself in this world and to see if there was anyone else that might that might have experienced or might be experiencing what I'm experiencing not what I'm experiencing but what I have experienced and surprisingly there are actually a lot surprisingly and sad and sadly like very sadly It can, it can bog you down and just make you want to throw in the towel. And I just want to encourage you not to. Uh, because you do have, you know, the, there are some of us that are out here that legit didn't do anything to deserve what's going on in our lives. You know, again, it doesn't matter if it's at work or if it's at home or, you know, where you are. Whenever, uh, when tragedy strikes, when, when something terrible happens. Uh, and then you have the people who are they consciously sow bad shit into this world uh, they manifest bad things uh, mainly out of envy and jealousy uh, that's 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 all I can say man it's just like whenever I was religious when I called I never called myself a Christian I just think that that's very arrogant there's so many non-Christians trying to call themselves Christians it's like that's the kind of shit that makes people who genuinely aspire to be it makes it turns them off not just from God and from uh, from Christianity, as you might be half-assed representing it, but it it calls them completely away from uh, from from the true God, the God, you know, um, because they've had their hearts broken. They've had their hearts broken by people that 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 they that they should have been able to trust. That in the end, they learned that they that they they were alone and they couldn't trust them. You know what that made me think of? It made me think something that breaks my heart. It does. And this is where the line was drawn because I was raised um, that homosexuality is is a no-no for religious reasons and religious reasons only. No one should be condemned or asked to change or expect to change, expected to change uh, who they are or their preferences or their practices just merely on someone else's opinion. Um uh, but those same half-assed functioning, half-assed performing Christians back when I was younger, uh, who are who were heavily condemning um, that you know a specific group of people that we're talking about in this part of the the video. Um, like I, I've always disagreed with that, and I feel like God, by whatever name you call him, her, or them, God, the gods. I know that God is love, first and foremost. And um, and God, God more than likely helped themselves to whatever they chose to help themselves to. And there is a spiritual law that corrects itself, that corrects things that are out of place. And I, I trust it. I trust the karmic laws. <laughs> I trust in the karmic laws. I knew that there was something flawed about that idea first, just in my own heart, that I felt conviction conviction for even thinking about you know having like I couldn't even let myself have an opinion of someone's lifestyle or what they're doing because I don't under, I don't fully understand how they came to that um, the decision that they that they made like I and I and I just feel like so many people have given themselves the right to uh, unnecessarily and unfairly condemn people who are just trying to live and be in this place that those people were so comfortable with themselves finally to just be themselves no one gets to talk to them about what they do but anyway and they are us they are us they chose whatever they chose for whatever they chose that's it and so uh but anyway something that something that, that is like the most heartbreaking aspect of of their struggle that i i i've seen it and um so because of that, I resonate with that struggle and how and the pain in it is the number of families who can relate to this part. These men, you you try to do the right thing and to and to be in your marriage and to to be the the spouse the dutiful provider 
and the, the beloved, devoted father, um, the supportive husband. You can put your wife through, you know, two or three degree programs or even allow her just to sit there and, and not work at all. Or you nurtured a whole family business. You know, you had a family business. And, and then in the end, in the very end of it, you know, after 30 or 40 years of marriage, you, you come out with, you know, that you prefer to be with men or you prefer to dress like women. You know, uh, you're a cross-dresser and this, uh, you know, to even try to understand how you could want to dress like a woman but but still be attracted to women. You are not gay, you're not bi, you're not queer or trans. You just like to dress like women, but you still love women. Whatever, whatever the truth is behind it, that it's a truth that you held, it's a song that you held in your heart, unsung, like not even acknowledged, not even fully acknowledged for you know, a marriage that 40 years is a lifetime considering that in some cultures uh, you're expected to be dead or in jail, which is a, a step from being dead says to says some of the people that I know that have been locked up um, it's just it's, it's so unfair and it's so sad I love the men in my family it would break my heart if I learned that that someone live that life in a in a mental and emotional cage anyway I don't know where that came from but I'm, I'm speaking on it it's like was that there before you proposed did you did you propose knowing that that was there Is it that maybe you were going to say something and you were taking the steps to live out loud and to be yourself before she got pregnant? Okay, so that makes me think of... <laughs> that makes me think of... Oh my. I'm going to tell you guys, so when I, got, when I got married, like I talk about that a lot because obviously I got married so young, I have like a wealth of of lessons and and trials and things that I went through that again they helped shake me into who I am and what I am now um, I'm sharing to help this is a conscious rant <laughs> it's a conscious rant I'm sharing to help and to heal to have further heal myself to give perspective to others who might be in similar or same situation as me you know I didn't know until recently that what I've been doing, the term for it. Do you know what boondocking is? I do now. That's what I've been doing. Oh my God. Yeah, this guy just went to lie to me. Couldn't get me. Okay, I'm going to get off here for a minute. I'm going to get off here for a minute. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh. You know what I'm talking about, though? I do know what I actually like how that smells. I didn't say it smelled bad. I'm you told me you didn't like how it smelled. That's why you never wanted to put it in your hair. I never said that. You did say that. Um, That's okay. I know she said that. that. You did say it, but you just. Anyway. <laughs> Did you know that there are literally people out here that can cause you to have a hardship? And it's like a you can be initiated into an organization or into a system or into a game without your permission, without your knowledge. 
Did you know? Did you know that you can be caused to go through extreme suffering such as homelessness? You can lose your job. Um, you can become targeted. You can become targeted behind someone else's sick, sick idea of a game. And it's usually based in envy. It's based in, um, in jealousy. In revenge, you have no idea how many, how many wives, <laughs> how many girlfriends have come looking for me because my number is in their boyfriend's phones. Like I'm that chick. Like this one guy, um, he was the maintenance manager at this complex that I used to live in. And he's, he was the head of maintenance. He's not just a maintenance guy. He's, this is the head of maintenance. So anytime anything big would happen, since they, this place did not have security, this gentleman would show up like, like he was running the place, like it was his stuff. And so if we had things happen, like, um, any type of vandalism or anything like that, we were told to contact him. It's kind of like they gave him a second hat. I don't know how to explain it. And so, um, me as a single woman, whenever I would have odd things, like when I had the fire, I definitely called him. When someone broke in my place, I called him. When when my heat, I had a couple of guns that came up missing. Someone stole from me. That it's the maintenance guy because I'm reporting something to the apartment complex when the when the place is closed. This man's wife started calling me, and I'm talking. She called me like Facetime, like off the top, and was like, "Why you calling?" Blah blah blah. And I was like, "Oh, okay, that's been a misunderstanding." I'm like, I'm, I have no problem talking to her, right? I'm cool because I have nothing to hide. Well, recently I learned that I guess people do. There are women and men out there who will lie right to your face. They they look and sound like me. Like I would never do no disgusting shit. I broke my nail. I was like, I would never do no, I would never do no disgust like that. Okay. They don't know that. And I'm, I'm okay that they don't know it, but it's just like, damn, like <laughs> when you have a, like a woman doesn't know a woman when she sees one. Cause skeezes and scallywags don't speak the language of classy, morally sound women. They don't speak the same language, but apparently they do. Okay. I used to have a boyfriend a long time ago that he would, he, he told me, cause he was like, he's like, you are just too much to be true. <laughs> I actually, I, I actually hear that a lot respectfully. And I, I, all praise is due to the most high. All praise is due to the most high. I can hardly take credit for anything. I will take credit for overcoming my suffering with the help of the almighty, but I J S. That's the kind of thing that can't nobody give to you when you earn it. And so, but anyway, uh, he used to tell me, I'd be like, I, cause I, I would combat his, his insecurities and his jealousy with love. And I would just be like, why are you even worried about like on my breaks? I like, I'm talking to you on the way to work. I'm talking to you on my breaks. I'm talking to you on my lunch. And this place was really generous. We had like two 20 minute breaks and, uh, an hour and 15 minute lunch. <clears throat> they were just very, very cushy. And my schedule was like six to three. Like I loved it. Um, but at the time I was a single mother with three toddlers. Like I, I think the, I think they were all like maybe four and five or five and six somewhere in there. Anyway, this gentleman, like he was visiting me here and, and I don't know. It's like, I, I, I thought it was cute at first because I was just like, you jelly, like you don't have to be jealous. Like, <laughs> I was like, I don't mind assuring you because he told me he had, he had saw some, some real, ah, I had to tell it. I had to tell this part. Okay. So when we met, when we met, he was devastated because a lady, um, that he was in love with. He was smitten by this lady. Oh my God. He was so in love with her. Um, like we didn't become a couple like right away when we very first met. Cause I just, I, and I was, I was, I separated from my husband, but we were not divorced yet. The divorce came like a year after that, or less than a year after that, actually. Yeah, it was less than a year after <laughs> anyway. And, um, for that reason, we were not like serious, serious, but I knew that he, that he, his feelings were growing. Our feelings were growing, uh, despite like, I was like, you know, I can wait until after my divorce is final because I, I have children and I can't be yo-yoing and playing around with y'all. Like 
you know and, and he was he was like well i'm not gonna waste my time and invest my time and dump that into you and these kids and like and then just leave so we were really trying to work something out and um anyway so I, I knew that it was time for us to start having those conversations that that was coming because he started telling me about his ex and what she did. And I was just like, you know, because he's such a beautiful guy inside and out, man. Anyway, um, long story short, they, they start living together. He proposed. They start living together. And. She claimed to have a brother in prison who was finna get out of prison and he gets out of prison. He's like, he's gonna need a place to stay and he comes over to stay with them. And yes, yes. And the guy had been there for several months and this chick is not working and that guy is not working. But my guy, my friend was working. He was working his ass off and he was taking care of his sisters. He was like the youngest of like nine children, nine or 10 children. And he was the only boy. All of them had the same mother and father. Like they they had a very beautiful family anyway. And so this guy like Ah, I just I have to go back so that you I just to give you some backstory, okay? <laughs> it is a little bit juicy, okay? Respectfully. But anyway, uh it's two big events. They go out to the club, you know, he she had the girls night out with her girls and then he had the, you know, the night out with his boys, whatever. And so um but they didn't they didn't tell each other the place that they were going to go and this is before the time of gps on the phones this is back during the time when everybody probably had it's like when the when the nokia uh 8600 is it 8600 or 1800 series the little candy bar nokia uh that or um it's before we got the razor the motorola razor it's before that Okay, for if I might be telling all of my age, which I'm I'm proud of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause young people really do not know. They they talk about these devices and this technology, this nanotechnology. They talk about it like it ain't shit. Like when you really think about it, how are you connecting those dots? This is a conscious rant. And I'm off, so a lot of the aesthetics and the makeup, okay, this is this is me. I'm in the car chilling uh talking to you guys making a video for you so you know you know give me a little bit of cut me a little bit of slack cut me a little bit of slack mm -mm. cut me a little bit of slack you see my dehydration though but anyway and so they had gone out to this club right they go out to this club him him and him and his boys and his boys was like whoa dog just before people started saying bro they used to say dog right so <laughs> so so they was like whoa dog whoa it's like man and you know it's always that like the, the few times that i've been out which is why i don't go out because there's always that one or two in the middle of the floor ass literally on the floor you might as well be getting gang bumped on the floor in the club in front of a bunch of strangers i just it's like it's already hard it's a bit degrading when you walk into a place and you know what the expectation is you know what the majority of the males are thinking it's like i just never i never cared to really be in the environment and so i have gone out like i said maybe six or eight times not not more than nine or ten okay <laughs> <laughs> hey i mean i'm i i used to i used to feel embarrassed like you know does that you know what kind of experience can i say that i have or am i am i robbing myself on some experiences but um no i think i think i did good <laughs> but anyway so he's in love with this girl had already proposed and he goes to the club they had their 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 me my, my me time and he chose to go out with his friend she went out with her girls they went out and they didn't know that they were going to the same club long story short she was the one in the middle of the floor on her back basically getting done up on the floor and just completely humiliated herself first but then him because his boys are trying to tell him like they were trying to tell him about her anyway so they they had overcome that okay which is really really big to me um and he extended that trust past that past that and and the all the people that she was on the floor with obviously they knew each other to to be getting it like that and she was caught 
they to having been cheated because they had been going to the club but well, this guy hardly went to the club because he was a working adult anyway it was after that he fell deeper in love with the girl after maybe that makeup uh loving you know further solidify that connection i don't know i get it you know i don't get it but i get it you know anyway and so uh she goes and she presents the story about the brother getting out of jail and he he was apprehensive but he gobbled that up and he's like okay we can do that okay several months into that neither one of them are working he's providing for everybody excuse me <laughs> he was providing for everybody on a whim he came home early from work to find him and this him and this his woman and this so-called brother and the sad part is is that it actually could have been her brother some people get down like that there are some family members uh i've seen some cousins that i look at them and i know i'm like i know y'all having sex i know y'all doing it uh anyway ain't, ain't, ain't it ain't no shame everybody is raised differently there are no, no no two families are exactly the same and where you may value this and you may not you know give respect to this this part of someone else's culture that's where you see the true difference in the pedigrees I feel bad saying that. I don't even know how to say what I just said, but I'm saying there's a reason why overseas, the reason why in 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 places of nobility and royalty, like true royalty, um, not royalty here or here, but like the financial, like the abundance of the land, they will not marry down or marry outside. Cause anyway, anyway, <laughs> so and so anyway, so he had told me that that's where he had come from, and. So, like, the guy tells me that you just come from a place where you were stabbed in the back. You got the Ten of Swords all over you. In your heart, in your pockets, in your mind. When someone cheats on you and makes you makes you question, like, because you, you feel some conviction about even asking a person about, man, are you, are you being dishonest with me? I don't know how to even act. Like, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, thank, thank, thank you for taking me out to dinner, you know? Uh, so, uh, when you was in the bathroom, were you talking to a female? When you're in the bathroom extra, like, like our whole face is red? <laughs> hey. Whew. Um, it was always uncomfortable. And it's like, and for me, being intuitive at all, all it's just like it's a rhetorical question really i'm just trying to see if you're going to be honest with me like yeah but um forgive the edges i'm off today so i mean you know now i'm not exactly dusty or anything like that but anyway you tell me your most uh, vulnerable spot. This is a part. I mean, he he we were completely transparent with each other, and and he tells me, you know, I I have this owie. You know what I mean? Man, she hurt me bad, and I don't know. A, a woman can lie right to my face, to my face, introduced her brother to my mother, to my people. I don't know if he said his mother, but to people that he loved. I think I think she did meet, yeah, and met his sister because his sister was talking about her. So yeah, but um, he has such a beautiful family. I mean, them women were strong, and they did what they had to do, man. Real talk, you know. I I get it, but anyway, <laughs> um, and made their mother rest in power. I did read about that anyway that's so sad but anyway beautiful family and so if a person tells me that this is the number one thing like just man it, it would it, it, it would crush me if you if you did any of that you know and I was like I promise I'm not like that like I don't know what you think about me like trying to talk to me I told you that my divorce is not final but <clears throat> but when, when when I left we did not yo-yo when I left it was over no getting back together 
not 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 even to spite you it's like i can learn the lesson without having to bump my head to get that lesson one and i know not even the guy like for myself like once i know that i can't trust you in my mind if i see that i cannot trust you there is no reversing that and i know that so while my my forgiveness is very genuine it's very sincere uh my ability to completely stay the fuck away from that <laughs> um it's like no other and i and i do so with the utmost respect the most recent guy that he was even that close to even that i that i that i i did try it i did i did leave he told me to leave so i left um and I tried to pick myself up and I stumbled hard. <laughs> and um, when I came back, as I was picking myself up after that stumble, uh, we came together and decided to come back together. I didn't go back looking for him. And he technically didn't come for me. We were both. <laughs> Did y'all hear that thunder? <laughs> So I don't know if you can see. Yes, clearly it's 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 regnic. It's regnic. I I'm okay because I'm sitting in front of my sister's house. I haven't been here anyway. And so I was just saying that I understand. <laughs> yes, I remember. Okay, so I understand how how he could be so hurt that that he just loses his ability to trust. And I did not want to ever, ever, like, I promise you, I'll never do that. I cannot promise that I won't lose, you know, all, all the little stuff that, that are not deal breakers, all those things right there, the cheating on you and playing with your money. I promise I won't. I actually, I'm not gonna lie to you. Did you appreciate that? You may come to not, because I'm gonna be completely honest with you. But anyway, I am talking about him only to say that I understand like some people's insecurities and it's like where some people might be like, well, you know, you're kind of coddling them. I'm not coddling. Like, I think it's a, it's an honor to, to show you that, that people can be trusted again. If you had your heart broken, it's important to me that you know that everyone is not like the person that did that, especially me, since you're trying to talk to me. Um, about that right now would make you think like, well, you must be like in that, you know, you're in a situation. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not talking to anybody. I don't text anybody. And I, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying not to, but I'm not trying to either. Like I'm very focused. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the head up, up, up. Right now my ear is itching pretty good. I got my garlic in my ear. I have a very funny story about garlic in the ear that I'll share one day. Perhaps in the book. That was just amazing. Okay, the whole purpose of me talking about that was just about um, the element of trust and about how many people, how many people go to the extent of calling, like to, to actually call you calling someone in your boyfriend's or girlfriend's phone like I've never called anybody. Well, when someone called my house when I was living, like, anyway, it doesn't matter where I was living. <laughs> uh, a woman called my house, and so, yes, I, I redialed my phone. But other than that, no, I haven't just picked up the phone and called, like, oh, who, who the bitch is? Who the bitch is? Like... Anyway, anyway, okay, so I know we went on a ride earlier and we were talking about a whole bunch of things. <laughs> um, I've, there's a lot that I, that I have to say that I'm processing. I have the time to do it. <laughs> like I never had before so um, I'm completely taking advantage of that time and like you can see like everything <laughs> you get to see everything I appreciate you tuning in to me I appreciate you like I'm sitting here I'm sitting here in my car I'm getting ready to come in now 
after work once again and <laughs> um it's just again this is what i would be writing i would be rushing in the house to lay in the bed sitting in the and, bed and 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 write and actually write in the journal and um again i find it very therapeutic uh listening to myself first of all just expressing myself and then hearing and seeing uh and seeing myself um, I see those moments. I, I I be looking at my poker face like, ooh, you almost let them tears come out. <laughs> or, ooh, you got sarcastic, didn't you, Tanika? Just a little bit. Um, it's just funny to see my disposition. Whenever I'm talking about things that I I have healed from, but uh, but then again, you know, we our our bodies tell on we tell on ourselves. In the eyes and the smiles and the lips and the smirks and the tones and all of it in the head like I do a lot of you know <laughs> like I'm very expressive and so I just I utilize this platform primarily for that and I know that some of what I'm saying uh, can be very entertaining some of it can be very heartbreaking but more more so than not you know it, it is most people would say for entertainment purposes only. if you are entertained I mean you know and that's all. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. She said, Con, it's time to go in. It's time to go in. It's time to go in. <laughs> Okay.